and they find that the electric field of a line charge close to the line is 2k lambda over r, where lambda is the linear charge density of the rod of the line, and r is the distance from the, from the line to that. So this is r. So they give this formula at the end of chapter 24. That formula that we have is the same as that. Okay? Lambda is the charge density of this, so it's Q over uh, L. And the R in this equation is the same as the D in our equation. Okay? So that's, that's the same thing. And this is the electric field, whereas we found the force. So the only thing difference is that the force includes the little q, right? This is the force, if you put a little charge q there, is equal to qe. So it's equal to q, 2k q, little q over dl. So there you go. Now we know that our equation is 100% correct. Hall it, so we have it guaranteed. Our general equation is correct, you see? It has the right behavior when you go out to infinity. It has the right behavior when you get close to the charge. Now we could give this some numbers and see what kind of numbers come out of it. So, uh, for example, we could say, the big Q, let's say, is 6 microcoulombs. Little Q is 3 microcoulombs. And let's say the length of the rod is uh, 1 meter. And let's say the distance D is 0.6 meters. So what you could do, you'll be given something like this on the test. You could either get a general answer then once you get a general answer, put everything in there. Or at the integration stage, you can put in 0 to, and then you could put here uh, L is uh, 1 meter, so your limit of the integral would be half, right? So you could do a definite integral using your TI. So, and then here will be D squared. D will be uh, 0.6 here. So at the integration stage, you can do a definite integral. Or you could do an indefinite integral, get an answer, and then put the numbers all in. So for now, since we've already done the indefinite integral, let me just all put all the numbers in. 9 times 10 to the 9th. Q is uh, 3 times 10 to the minus 6. Big Q is 6 times 10 to the minus 6. D is 0.6. 1 over 4 plus D squared. to the one half. So get that, tell me what you get. Put that all in. Point. Point on one nine newtons. Okay, so it's uh, not that big. I mean, in terms of newtons. Um, okay, now let's do non-uniform charge. 
density 